Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. If you're new, hi, welcome. I hope you subscribe. It is free 99 to join my Lash Babe team. And if you're not new, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a review slash first impressions slash wear test on the brand new Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. I picked up two shades and I'm not sure which one's going to be my shade, but we're going to be testing it out. We're also going to be doing a first impressions on their new baked highlighter. I did only pick one because the other shades are shades that I know I wouldn't wear myself. There's no point in me spending my coins on products I'm not going to use. And I just wanted to show you guys this, but I got a cute little luminoso um, blush with my purchase of Milani. So I did purchase these items from Ulta on the Ulta website. I'm not sure if they're in stores yet. I will let you guys know or you can always just go into your Ulta app and it should show you your store and if you have those products available. So there's really not much to the intro besides grab a little, a little glass of wine, a little beer, your coffee. I mean it's only 10 21 but hey it's five o'clock somewhere so let's go ahead and jump straight on to this review wear test first impressions Let's pull up a little bit of information before we get into anything. The only reason why I saw these new foundations, I think I saw them, I want to say I saw them on Trend Mood. I'm not sure, but Trend Mood is a page that keeps you updated with everything, all the new launches. So let me grab my, excuse me, my phone. I'm going to pull up my Ulta app really quick. I'm going to go into my orders and I'm going to see what it says so this foundation retails for $13.99 so 14 bucks you get one fluid ounce which is your typical amount that you get in a foundation $14 is not a lot and if it's a good foundation I think obviously it's going to be um, worth it so now it says here break up with a blue light you're on your phone 24-7 how did you know? Milani is not mad at you, but your skin might be because the blue light coming from your devices could be doing some serious damage. So the benefits to this, I'm not going to go into like the whole details. You guys can totally read that on your own. But the benefits are weightless feel formula, instantly blurs imperfections, and even out skin tones. I like that. Use with digital blue light filter technology to help protect skin from digital pollution cool available in 45 skin perfecting shades wow 45 shades you guys that is like really really good and the shades go pretty deep so that is definitely a plus it's a non ashy formula formulated for all skin types tones and ages cruelty free and vegan now the baked highlighter there is one two three four different shades Bronze Splendor, which is obviously more of a bronzy shade. I have the shade Champagne de Oro. They have Dolce Perla and Rosa Italiana. Italiana. <laughs> Dolce Perla is more like a pink. And then Rosa Itali Italiana. Oh my god, these names. This one's more of a rose gold type of color. So I obviously went with the gold shade. So this is supposed to be richly pigmented, intensely illuminate illuminating, universally flattering, glowy, not glittery shades, velvety formula that blends and builds seamlessly, microfine, multi-tonal, luminescent powders, and can be used wet to intensify color. Ooh, that is definitely a good fact to know because we are going to be testing this out, obviously, on our cheekbones. But not only are we going to test it dry, we're going to test it wet. With that said, um, let me give you guys a little 411 on my skin right now. Like I said, it is extremely dry. Right now, I had to exfoliate all this and this because I literally had dead skin sitting right here. So I did exfoliate my skin and I applied all my moisturizers. I applied my creams. I applied a little bit of oils because, again, my skin is just extra dry today. So with that said, though, normally I am 
combination oily skin. The primer that I've been using a lot is the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control. This primer right here was recommended by one of you guys, but I know that also Jasmine, Juicy Jazz, she raves about this one and I really trust her opinion in a lot of products. So I decided to buy this one a few months ago and I've honestly been so happy with it. So we're going to go in with a primer first. As always, I am going to do one side foundation or one side a sponge and then one side with a brush so we can see which side gives us more full coverage. Now the shades that I picked up are 320 Nude Bisque and 330 Golden Bisque. I wasn't sure which one was going to match me and I'm trying to get into the habit of not buying foundations that are so dark because I tend to do that. So okay we're a little up close and personal. This is why I switched to this lens. Um, so you guys can see my skin up close, the foundation up close, how it blends and how it's looking. So really quickly, um, the packaging, really cute. It is a glass bottle and it has this plastic cap and then when you open it, it has a pump. I feel like a lot of foundations nowadays have a pump, which hello, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, because like when they're not pumped, it's like, what the heck, how am I supposed to use this? So let's see which shade is going to match me the best so this one is nude bisque okay that one might be a little light so let's go in with 330 golden bisque Okay, I think this one might actually be my shade. Hmm, maybe none of them. <laughs> what do you guys think? Which one do you think matches me the most? I kind of, I don't know, I kind of feel like... I feel like a golden bisque matches me the best. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one for now. And if I see it not really working out then we can mix the other one but let's take this foundation side note though i do feel like i'm going to need at least like three or four pumps of this foundation because this right here is one pump and for my tortilla face that is nothing <laughs> so let's go in on this side and let's buff it in with the foundation brush um because that is how i like to usually use my foundations I'm going to take my Morphe M439. I don't usually like light coverage foundations, but if I can build it up, then I'm totally okay with that. Okay, so, so far, blends out really nice. Little to no effort. Oh my god, this is looking horrible on my skin. What the fudge? I don't think it's the foundation, you guys. I think my skin, my skin just wants to be left alone. But no, I avoid putting makeup on, huh? So that's how the foundation looks on this side. So foundation, no foundation. Um, it looks very light. Like you can tell I'm wearing foundation. But it's not heavy. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. But up close, it really doesn't look that well. Um, it just looks like it's kind of like sitting on top of my skin. And it just looks like it's holding on to every single dry patch that I have. I'm going to try to zoom you guys in a little bit more. But right here, it's just like sitting on top. And then right here, it's really caking up. The forehead doesn't look bad. But I don't have much dryness here. It's mainly here what i'm gonna do instead is i'm just gonna go with my sponge and i'm gonna go over the foundation to kind of push it into the skin and see if that helps because it definitely doesn't look very good on top of this dry skin so now let's go ahead and do another pump and i was wrong one pump did half of my face so now let's do a full pump again and then we're gonna go in with our sponge and I would have to say that this is definitely like more medium to buildable full coverage. I don't think this is light coverage by any means because it is covering up the redness on my skin. OK, 
Okay, so with a sponge, you'll definitely need at least two pumps for your entire face. I mean, sponges tend to soak up some of the foundation. So it does make a little bit more sense that I only use one pump for this side, and then on this side, I've already used another pump. But honestly, I don't think I'll use the entire pump that I just laid down. I definitely see the light coverage on this side so all I'm gonna do is dip into my brush or grab my brush dip into whatever foundation I have left and I'm just going to press it right here which is where I have redness so if you want this foundation to give you more coverage go with a brush if you want a lighter coverage go with a sponge so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the foundation kind of like sink into the skin, let the oils of my natural skin like blend with the foundation, let everything settle in. While I do that, I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer bronzer and then we can come back and test the golden highlighter as well as the blush. Even though I've tested the blush but I just want to put it on uh, camera with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back in just one second. So bronzer is on, my setting powder, my concealer, pretty much everything. And honestly, I think the foundation is looking a little bit better now that it's had a moment to just kind of like sink into my skin. So with that said, I'm quickly going to apply the little brush that I got for free. Um, this is in the shade again, Luminoso or Luminoso, which is a beautiful peach shade. You guys know me and peach are like this because I grabbed quite a bit. This is definitely more of a blush topper. I mean, it gives you color, but like it's not as matte as I normally like my blushes, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and try the highlighter. Again, this is in the shade Champagne Dioro. This is a baked highlighter. This is what it looks like. Let's do a little swatch. Feels very creamy and it is nice and pigmented so on one side of my cheek we're going to do it just regular schmegular and then on the other side we're going to get it wet um to see if we can intensify it oh that is pretty i'm going to take my brush and i'm going to take a little bit of setting spray and I'm going to wet my brush just a little bit. You don't need to wet it too much. And then we're going to dip it into the highlighter. Hmm. Strangely enough, I think I prefer it dry. Even though, like, obviously it's going to be more luminous. But I kind of like that wet skin look that I have going on on this side. So it is currently, let me see... It is 11.13 a.m., so I will be back in about six hours, seven hours, and show you guys how the foundation is looking. I will jot down some notes on anything that I see, if I get oily, if it wears out, or if it, if it, wears, if it wears out, if it looks different, like if it oxidizes, just anything that I notice, I will definitely write it down on my phone and then give you guys any updates so I will be back in about six hours but for you because of the magic of editing <laughs> I will be back in just like right now pretty much it is now 5 29 so it's actually a little bit sooner than I wanted to check in with you guys but I totally forgot that I have a facial appointment today at 7 and it is 5:30, so that means that I gotta film this and then I need to take off my makeup. So we're gonna cut it short today. But with that said, I have been wearing it for roughly I've been wearing it for at least six hours, which I think is still a pretty good time to see how the skin is looking. So, so this is what we are working with right now. I can tell you right away that I am definitely oily, even though my skin is so dry. I am super oily right here. So my nose, I don't know if I apply too much, but it definitely looks very cakey on the nose. And then I just have tons of shine coming through right here, which again, my T-zone is always the worst. And remember that I did use a mattifying primer and I still have tons of oil 
my pores don't look large at all. They just, my skin looks like my skin, but just greasier, if that makes sense. I feel like for the most part though, like my bronzer and blush and my highlighter are still very noticeable. Um, it's just the whole T-zone. So what I'm going to do really quick is I'm just going to blot the excess because I want to see that even if you are oily and you tend to carry, carry these blotting uh, sheets, I wonder if you can just wear it if you like more of a light coverage um, weightless foundation. So this is all the oil that came off my skin. Yuck. Yeah, I know that's a lot. A quick rundown on my final thoughts, my opinion on the new Milani Screen Queen foundation. I, okay, hear me out. I feel like it's a little bit gimmicky when they're talking about like the blue lights. I'm not saying that it's not true, but to me, it just seems a bit gimmicky. That's it. Now, the foundation itself, as you can see, it did wear really nicely on the skin. It's just for oily skin, you might have to do a little bit of free touch. I like the color of the foundation and obviously they have plenty of shades to choose from. So I like that. Is it my favorite drugstore foundation? No, it's not, but I think it's a good foundation. If you are oily skin or dry skin, you might want to give this a try. So that's something for you guys to decide if you are willing to purchase this foundation, $13 at Ulta. I'm sure other stores will eventually carry it, but I will leave you guys with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this review slash wear test. If you want to see more foundation reviews, give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.